Now, here's a problem, right? Here is a grocery cart like one would find in a grocery store, right? Fair enough. Here is a raider. Oh, no, that's just a feral ghoul. Okay? It's dead. Just, just died of nothing, apparently, of whatever these ghouls have been dying of. But, and so, like, here's some, you know, some whatever. It's like some fancy lad snack cakes, 200-year-old food that's still laying around. It's like Twinkies. It's, we'll survive the apocalypse. But here, in the shopping cart, is a melon, which is like one of the foods that you can grow outside. Which, you know, on the surface, you'd be like, well, of course there would be melons in the grocery store, except no, there would absolutely not be melons in the grocery store, because no one is bringing new food into the grocery store. This is a, not a functioning grocery store. It has not been for 200 years. Look, holes in the ceiling. The lights do not work. No stock boys. This means that somebody must have come into this store with melons and put them in this cart and pushed them around. And if that makes no sense. If you think about this longer than two seconds, it makes you first you're like, oh yeah, here's some other, other shopper's cart with, wait, no. I'm so, I, you know, I would shoot those melons to help blow off some of my rage. That will also blow off some of my rage. I'm sorry you had to hear that. There's not 200 year old melons in this store that they could loot. If the cart was full of like fancy lad snack cakes, that would make sense. But the melons had to have come inside from outside. Yeah, I know, I can't, I was, I'm kind of unhappy that I can't shoot the melons. That's another, but that's a different issue. That would require them to, like, model destruction physics for a fruit. I'm not disappointed that they don't have that in the game. I'm disappointed that somebody took the time to put the melons in the basket, but did not take the time to think about the fact that they should not fucking belong in the basket. They just, they don't belong there. Just, it's really, it's, it's galling. More, more than a little galling, as shown by my inability to get over it. Ding, ding, ding! Just like ducks in a, one of those carnival games. Now see? These melons... These feral ghouls did not collect these fucking melons. This makes no sense to have these here. There better be, you know, somebody in this game better come and say, whoa, have you, they drove us out of the store. We were trying to revitalize the melon industry or something. You know, give me, give me something, guys. Ow. Okay, you know, I'm going to look in this terminal for the sole purpose, Right? that there's an explanation. We just got in our shipment of super duper last forever fucking faux melons. This is your chance, Fallout. Make up for your egregious sins. Also, I can't knock over these fucking things and knock over everything else in the game, not those. Ooh. Ooh, I'm angry now. I'm angry about these melons. Look at this. This buff out, it doesn't belong here. That's a drug that came into existence in the future. It's got no business being on the shelf here. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, I need... Whoever did this level, they're pissing me off. I talked about level design in the previous thing, and... Like, oh, obviously... Stimpak from, oh, okay, a minute man. Dude, why are you even here? Just, dude, I'm in no mood right now. You're in here with bottle caps, a berry, and that's it. Like, you have no weapon even. I'm so angry at you. So, ah. Uh. Here, hold on, let me put away my gun. 
Oh, it won't let me pick him up again, probably. That's too bad. I was going to give him the shaking of his life. Oh, okay. So he showed up, put down a bunch of melons, apparently, some drugs, set down his rifle, laid down to sleep in the middle of the ghoul-infested... Are you a fucking wizard ghoul? Where did you come from? At this point, monsters just appearing out of nowhere actually cannot harm the verisimilitude of this game. It's like if they showed up with a wizard hat, you know, and were like, Brr, I'm from Slytherin. I'd be like, okay, man, makes as much sense as anything. Serious. Not even gonna loot you. You're you're that insulting to me. You know, don't look at that. Somebody's got some sugar pops and a spoon right on the toilet. That's just gross. I mean, yes, I've rooted around in big sacks of meat that mutants have left. But I haven't eaten a bowl of cereal on an apocalypse toilet. Everyone has to draw a line somewhere. Ah, oh, also this. Look at this. Look at this. How do you find anything in here? Who does this? Seriously, look, like they've trapped this teddy bear in here. What? And you're not even going to let me move it. That's that's somehow permanently glued to the floor. I want that teddy bear! <sighs> you know, why do I continue to punish myself? You and your fucking magical eterni eterna melons. Your inviolate fucking bondage teddy bear. And here you've got your kitten pitcher terminal... Maybe that was just for just for that person who made this level. All that time they spent putting that teddy bear in bondage could have been spent explaining this melon situation. If they'd really cared, they could have done that. Raider scum in a power suit. Ho ho ho! Look at that shit! I can shoot his fusion core. That is the best. But, you know, I'm not looking for a fight right now. I've just had a really narratively confusing experience in a supermarket. So I'm just going to wander over here and kind of be alone with my thoughts.